Hi Peter, always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. So empty, I'm receding And all of my friends are misplaced Been in circles several days Never knowing the right way Mmm, yeah so... so it's still to business here Ball. Who's going to get there? That's a throw. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Coco. Curry. A bead. Appiah. Hoops it upfield. He's in! They've scored! And Clermont Auvergne are in front. And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Montauvern go ahead, one goal to the good. Well played, he saw that coming. Tries a through ball. Keeper and go again. Lafonte gets it upfield. Boots it to safety. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Yeah, the communication lines were working really well, but the supply line just had a bit of a blockage. Spoon forward. Appiah. Aimed long and direct. Cuts it out. Promising cross. Well, what was required then was a little more patience. He didn't have to cross it so early. He's made sure that that won't get through. Palois pumps it upfield. Laporte, Clermont Auvergne are in control here on the brink of half time. Clermont Auvergne scoring in the first 10 minutes to give them a 1 0 lead. He's there to get rid. A bead did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Curry tries to get it forward quickly. Coco battles to win it back. And the 
referee brings the first half to a close. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Clermont Auvergne leading 1-0 at the break. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. Clermont going well here, and they're in a good position to kick up. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Uh, that's not going to find its target. Out to the flank. Nantes are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Plays it out to the flank. Aimed wide. They'd have done well to reach that. Who's going to make this theirs? So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Aimed long and direct. Cut out in the nick of time. Appia. Nantes have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. <laughs> Shot a goal! Decent enough try. Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions and sometimes they just make the wrong one and I think he would have been better placing that. There will be a throw-in. It's a good-looking cross. Keeps everyone guessing. In once more. Palois looks to dink one in. Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Oh, such a good ball to get him through. Showed real vision and awareness then in trying to pick him out. In for a header! Oh, surely that deserved better. Yeah, the ball in there was simply superb. He won't be too happy that it's gone to waste like that. Clermont Auvergne just have to run down the clock. And that's that. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. But well, you know, it's not easy.